while I was sifting through the 1997 Dorian Yates pitchers, because he has a matchup coming up against Brendan Curry, I noticed how good and fantastic Ronnie Coleman looked. He placed ninth. That's terrible. Anyway, I was just remembering, not that long ago, I did a match with the 2002 Ronnie Coleman, and I had a look at the comparisons, and I thought it was ridiculous. Ronnie Coleman is so much better here in 1997 than he was in 2002, yet the judges seem fit or see, saw fit to put him at the first place. He won the title in 2002, and I did the judging, and I thought that was ridiculous. He placed fourth, in my opinion, and that's just with the guys that I used. I didn't even use the entire lineup. Wow! He is altogether better. He was a tiny version of Ronnie Coleman in 2002 compared to 2003, and even 2001, he was much bigger. But here in 2000, or, or no, 1997, he's basically the same size, maybe even bigger, but his waistline is smaller. 100% better. Let's sift through these mandatory shots, or the ones that we have anyway. And the front double bicep pose is one of the worst poses for Ronnie Coleman. Every time I use this version, I mention the, the bicep, the right bicep and tricep. It's gone. Something happened to it. It was back in 2003. That's all I know. His midsection a whole lot wider here, so it's a definite win for two for 1997. Sorry, but that that arm I can't get over that. There is another pan back version of 1997. He really looked good in this pose. There's just no way, shape, or form anybody could think that 2002 Ronnie Coleman is better than the 1997. Ronnie Coleman, ninth place is beating first place. What does that say about the competition in the mid to late 90s versus the early 2000s? One thing I will say about the 2002 Coleman here, his skin is thinner and his conditioning is tighter, but he is so much weaker and punier when you look at the lats that I would definitely give this one to the 1997 version. He always had a good front lat spread, a dominant pose, but his muscles are gone. It's just gone. They up, took the, their clothes, packed their bags, and left. They came booming back in 2003. Look at how funny his face is there. He looks like, he looks like an Egyptian mouse or an Egyptian muse, one of them cats. He looks funny anyway. I don't know what to tell you guys. Ninth place beats first. The side chest pose. His conditioning looks better. More striations. But look how much bigger and more muscular he is in 97. Not to mention, his waistline is bigger and rounder in the 2002 version. Again with the funny face. When you turn around and show the back developments, it is unfair to show this one for 97. I believe they snap the shot. You know when Ronnie does the lat thing that he... He sticks one out, and then he waits for the other one, and then you think it's it, but it's not. He sticks the other one out a little bit farther. I think that's what's going on here. It's not very fair. There was this pitcher, and it is plain to see. His conditioning was top plus. Better, if you ask me, in this comparison, that is. But it is hard to say for sure. Judging by the rear double bicep, however... 2002 sucks altogether when you look at the arm development. No bicep peaks. The delts are flat and soft. No separation. Traps as well look softer. And look at the lats. They're wishy-washy and just plain soft. Waistline from behind is two times as wide. The glutes are more striated, I guess. That's one thing you could say, although the hamstrings look better. For 97. 97 gets an easy victory here, but this isn't even being judged. This is a domination. It is terrible to say that ninth place would defeat first place. Of course, that is politics for you.
This is not a straight on shot, 497, so it actually would take the size away a little bit. But even in this half sideways shot, you can still tell he is much bigger in the arm department. Look at that, just terrible, that right bicep and tricep, his arms. I think Ronnie Coleman is natural in 2002. What do you guys think? I think he went up to Joe and said, mm, yeah, I think I can, I can do this natural, Joe. Mm, mm, give me some sweet potatoes. What do you think? And I'm sure Joe turned around and said, well, I don't know. Ronnie, Gunter looks pretty good. I can't do Joe Weeder, sorry. It's, well, it wasn't too bad. Either way, here in the crab, most muscular. Wow, Ronnie, I think he might be natural. When you look at that arm, you've seen some old footage of him when he was natural or claimed to be natural. It looks like that's what happened. He got off the sauce, he got off the juice, the injections, the, the steroids, the growth hormones, the insulin, the HGH, and the, just everything. The anabolic chicken is what uh, Louis called it. Either way, guys, that's politics 101. They can work for you like they did in 2002, or they can work against you like they did in 1997 for Ronnie Coleman. Now, he, he had them working against him and for him, so he was able to see both sides of the politics. And I'm sure at the end of the day, he would say that they're fine, they're good. Of course, his last Olympia, the, two, er, the 2007, I believe? Yes, yes, 2007. He should definitely not have placed as high as he did. He defeated one of the best versions of Dennis Wolf. That's crazy when you think about it. But either way, guys, I do go. I do go on. This was a nice little comparison, just to prove Ronnie Coleman was every bit as good or way better than he was in 2002, way back in 1997. Hit thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, guys. Have a great day.